It is estimated that only 20% of Malaysians with a mental health issue will seek professional care, with social stigma a major factor for this. We speak to member of the Selangor Public Health Advisory Council, Dr. Muhammad Farhan Rusli, and former gymnast Farah and Abdul Hadi for their thoughts on the matter. Because of a lot of the taboo that's coming in, people don't ask you. Yeah. Uh, or, or if you want to talk about it, or if you want to, to mention it, people will say, I think there's something wrong with you. You shouldn't talk about this. You, you shouldn't come to me. Even some of the parents will say, uh, I think we were just talking about it just now, that this is perhaps you, you're not praying enough, you know, you're, mm. not, you're not close to God. That's why all these things are developing in your brain, all these things. So we wanted to break that um, barrier to access. Um, so not everybody will get the chance uh, like uh, Farah to get access, you know, to, to have yeah. very good uh, mental strength. So this type of uh, initiatives that's being done uh, by state is something that I hope will be replicated more uh, on a national level, and I hope it, it grows. Yeah. Farah Ann added that the awareness of mental health assistance accessibility starts from home. Parents actually play a pivotal role in helping their children and themselves, because actually, parents and people, they also need help. And really, if they do get the help, then that really trickles down to their children. Um, as you were saying, like access, the ability for them to actually see, to help, it starts from the top. Mm -hmm. So when government's initiatives go into like, the kampung areas, rural areas, and they have that access, then it will help because information then gets trickled. It may be slow. Mm -hmm. Things are never fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I love it. It's very slow, but it's good work. And when they have that access, the abilities to see and to know that they can get help, then that will then trickle down to the children. Catch the full conversation on It's About Youth tonight at 10.30 p.m.